TLO, what's poppin'? Let me, we are on Twitch. We are live. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see a little warning screen, and we might need it. We very so might need it. Don't forget, twitch.com is where you can catch a live stream, man. At the bottom of the screen, you see is the, the username. And we also got a Patreon. We post seven days a week, almost. And that's because we added football. With that being said, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. This is Welcome to the Murder Capital of America, St. Louis. I think it's East St. Louis to be specific. This is the, the, the taboo room. I was thinking about doing one of these type videos in Florida, no cap. I ain't even right now, y'all in one of the most dangerous hoods on the south side. It man. ain't no going over across the street. There's no rules. They shooting at mamas, babies. If you try to kill me, I'm gonna kill your dumb ass. I'm gonna leave your ass slumped down in the seat. Now you gonna die. This is the one place I ain't never heard too much about is St. Louis. Even though I was right next door. <laughs> like, it was a lot going on in Chicago. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm sure that, that there was some type of Connection, but that wasn't too long. Now, currently in St. Louis, the murder capital of America for the last five years. See what it's really like living in the trenches in St. Louis. You wake up, motherfucker, dead. You blink, the motherfucker, dead. Blood shit, blood shit. That's all that matters. Blood shit. What makes it so violent? The around. Yeah. When he come 10 different ways, same, same old Glock, a different case. Stack more chips than Frito Lay, new thumpers. That's like, like every day. Twenty-one years old, and you've been shot on four different occasions. Real like GTA. Shootings around this motherfucker all day, every day, bro. bro. I seen somebody straight get shot in their sleep, bro. <laughs> all these gonna do for us, but try to lock us up. Yeah, it's a lot of similarity to Chicago, but can't trust a soul because you never know who died next. Man, we living like Call of Duty out here. This war zone. I'm trying to team wipe something. You're me. Bloody salmon. Shit, you gotta watch out for your family. That's why I neglect. Two things you can do in St. Louis. You can get barbecue and you can get murdered. Get barbecue first. Yeah. Oh God, that's the only thing I knew about St. Louis for a minute. But then they start turning up the heat. Oh God, they did. We are murdering that ass. <laughs> oh, that was the intro? I didn't watch the intro. Talk to me, St. Louis. Let me hear about something. So I'm about to call Wanky G. We're four hours from St. Louis now. By the time we get there, it's going to be 11 p.m. We're going to be in the mad cup of America at 11 p.m. in the trenches. Bro, I'm... I'm on You're not going to wait till next... the daytime? <laughs> on the way. Um, I should be about four hours. But I'm thinking, do you think it's going to be safe, bro? Because I'm not getting there till about 11. Uh, it's, uh, it ain't safe. No one out here. But you going to be safe. It's going to be safe. That's that's how I'm cut. If somebody asks me, oh, yeah, can I come to the rack with you? Is it going to be safe? Hey, I'm not guaranteeing no type of safety for you. I'm not guaranteeing any safety. But no, if you come with me, you gonna, it's going to be some guns around. <laughs> it's going to be some firearms around. So we're going to be on we going to be on point is what I can guarantee you, buddy. So it should be OK. Yeah. Yeah, cool, bro. I'm gonna be about four hours, man. I'm gonna get there as soon as I can. I've never gone this late to any trench. Go ahead, go and walk to St. Louis. This is how we do it. Skin, skin, and do it. Walk to the grass game. Shout out to the UK. We up in St. Louis right now. Great, you walk to the game. Get about the valley. You know the big valley. Oh God, gang, so oh, 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 o
Can I have a look? Yeah, come on, come on now, come on now, come on, man. I what was wrong with Buddy? Is this area? He ain't dead. He ain't gonna lie. He's dead. Yeah, see, this is the only thing I could get into you. There's gonna be some dudes outside with a bunch of blicks on them and some street sweepers, and we gonna, we gonna, we gonna. You know what I'm saying? So what's the name, bro? T. Aaron. Aaron. And T, where are we at the moment? We on Grape Street, Grape Hill Crips. And what's what's this area known for? Everything. <laughs> Killing, dope dealing, everything. You name it. Yeah, uh, shit, it can get crazy. Yeah, this Blink motherfucker can get crazy. crazy. We be chilling now, though. Don't nobody come through, though. 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 Nobody come that's why in Chicago, I never went through a hood that wasn't mine. For what? Because they will get on, well, you be hearing them say, on that car, on that, they will get on that car, 100%. And bro, what's this area like? Yeah. What it look like? Shit, yeah. it looks tailored all for you. Duh. That's the like firework. Wow, look. What look you drink for the chop out your skin, gang. That's a firework, gang. Don't trip off. Are we sure that was a firework, gang? <laughs> You scared, gang? That's why, gang. You come telling you, gang. You good over here. Nigga ain't gonna try you over here while you with me, gang. What makes it so violent? The around. See, our shit down here a little different because, like in LA and shit, it's spread it out. Where over here, you know what I'm saying? You go up a street or two over and it's a different hood. You know what I'm saying? So it get more dangerous. I live I lived in a before I moved the last neighborhood I lived in, I lived in an SD neighborhood. Them is some GDs. They had their ops with some kings and some somebody else was right next door, some some moles or something. They were, it was right next door. I'm talking about they were surrounded. I was like, dang, boy, y'all can't, y'all wild. <laughs> Dangerous. You're from different neighborhoods, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Like these four streets might be a hood. Then two streets over, you might have another hood. Across the street would be Across another hood. Across the street would be another. On paper, this is the most dangerous. Look, this right here, this four different hoods. This is the break right now. This, this is the break. Break here. You know what I'm saying? Shit, this, this, this four different na neighborhoods but right here. Like, we're all together. We're all together. We're all together. We're all together. Everybody go step. Also, and how close is the op block, so to speak? Shit, we can walk across the street to a motherfucker. We can share the same gas station. Everything. We're walking apart. It's just different blocks. And don't. It's just a Midwest thing, I guess. This is like a Midwest thing. Go pump your gas without your gun in your hand. One hundred percent. Every time I went to the Shell gas station, Blick was in hand, ready. That is not a that is not a myth. The gas station is the number one spot where you can get slid on. Serious? Is that yeah? <laughs> Hell yeah, man! I pump your gas without your damn gun, don't you? Right there, me. It ain't no going over across the street to the next store right there. You hear me? That's a whole nother nigga set. The city you off the chain, man. Man, yeah, like this what happened when you stumped yeah, down on that yeah. motherfucker. Stab wounds, yeah, all that shit. Like, I didn't. I got I'd have been through it all back. growing up through the hood, man. Stab wounds, got damn me gunshot wounds, all that shit. I got shot him over here. I'm gonna shot him over here. I ain't gonna wipe the too. Somebody zipped him up. He out here like Wolverine. He. No, we got we're it. Dead. This shit real life. This is not like the movies. You hear me? Why is there so many murders happening in Tim Harris? A f bitch is choosing. A f getting money out here, like. This shit look easy, but this shit take hard work, dedication, goddamn me, and patience. You hear me? It's open carry. You ain't got. It's, it's easy carry. to get one of these bitches. So we won't. You can get one like that. St. Louis is open carry. No. Hey Siri. Is St. Louis open carry? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. See, I don't even want to know now because you just disrespect me in front of everybody. There's probably many reasons people get murdered. We're not very zenish here. We're not very peace, love oriented. I think a lot of that has to play with that. I think, but I think drugs and money is probably the biggest factors. Big great. Fella gang shit is you hear me? Fucking 
Do you, think, do you think they should change the gun law? Uh, yeah. They need to change it to the felons being able to cook. Yeah, see, it's a different... Wait, what? Do you, think, do you think they should change the gun law? Uh, yeah. They need to change it to the felons being uh, able to gun uh, carry. And do you think that would, that would decrease the level of murders happening in time? Nine times ten, it, it, it would. It'll, re it'll decrease a lot of shit. Yeah, it would, yeah, though. A lot of time. Eviction yeah. rates, all, a lot of shit will go down. Because a lot of us getting free-cased out here. Is that yeah. happening a lot? Like. Yeah, a lot. A they change, they're trying to change the law. They're trying to change it. There's too many crooked cops. A light, life in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just real out here in St. Louis, man. Right now, y'all in one of the most dangerous hoods on the south side. You hear me? I wish I would have came like two days ago. How we had this motherfucker so packed, goddamn me, like the movie Project X. You hear me? Uh, grew up in the county. You ain't want to come back that day. What they having a black party? A little Fifi? No. I've never, I've known one person that's been murdered. Uh, this is what they say, and I guess stats don't lie. I'm oblivious to this. I hear these stats. I hear see your documentaries. I don't dispel it. I don't think it's you're lying. We don't see it. Like uh, the lady who owns this building got her windows broken out a few months ago, and that's been like, whoa, windows broken out. I no mean, way. It, that that's like okay, that's shocking. This was so f about St. Louis. It's a difference. It's a difference between him and them. Buddy, go to work. Go home. He done, he not outside. He not involved in himself in in the daily lives of of, of, a, of a great street crip from the south side of St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? He going to go work his business, going home to his wife and kids. Of course you're not going to see that. Wake up in St. Louis, want to get some money and catch they op. See, Chicago just be wanting to wake up and catch they op. Niggas in St. Louis wake up, get them some money, then go... Just be want to wake up in St. Louis, want to get some money and catch they op. See, Chicago just be want to wake up and catch they op. Niggas in St. Louis wake up, get them some money. I'm from the rack. I cannot, I cannot say he lying. And it be, I be wondering, like, don't nobody want no money? Because I was more like of the hustler type. Like, but if something had to go down, it had to. But like, let's let's get some bread first. How you outside broke <laughs> drilling? Well, how you afford the blick? Like how? They ain't go but anyway. They trying to go clap some all day. That's all they be on here is clapping shit. Man, we living like Call of Duty out here. Let me go get two on. more. What I'm came from? Some. You heard me? I'm trying to bounce right. out of team wipe some. Bro, this Boy, PG bazooka <laughs> blow some up. You heard me? Bounce through and jam. Fully some down. Bro, this Real is wild, bro. This this style of life though is literally the trenches. When people say the trenches, the, the at trenches, the same time, it's this. At Man, the same it's time, cool over here though. Like, it can get we trying to get out of this life though. I'm mm -hmm. trying to get out of this life mm -hmm. shit. We trying to get out of this life. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to stay in this shit forever. This shit over with. Peaceful Motherfuckers be getting in the streets to stay in the streets. Motherfuckers really need to be trying to make their way out the streets. Cause it ain't shit. It ain't shit in these streets. I don't like living like this shit. I don't like to have to wash my head everywhere I go, but shit. That's just what it is. Motherfuckers on point. You gotta make no mistake though. A lot of niggas carrying guns to protect themselves. Sure. These niggas ain't trying to rob people. They ain't trying to hurt innocent people, shit like that. Like niggas carrying shit to protect themselves. You mean, Man, you gotta think about it like this. If I don't protect me, who gonna do it? The law Nobody. That's how I was thinking. Oh, the laws will shoot me just as fast the police, as police. Then they got mad you know shooters out here. I might be in Applebee's oh, one day. So I might can say it a day. Myself, who I'm the only one in Applebee's with the blink, bro. Oh God! Uh, speaking of that, up north, right before, right, I think, right when I moved, buddy went on. There was a dude who went on a rampage on the north side of Chicago. He went from north side to west side and ended up on the south side. He was going in neighbor. He was going in shop, shooting people and doing this, that, and the third. And that's that alone is why I kept it on me. Cause you're not just gonna run up while I'm eating a pancake at IHOP and, and and hit like you know what I'm saying and blow at me like no nah, cause we gonna we gonna have a bang out at that point respectfully self defense wise. I found much safe in the day. I can see why it's classed as the murder capital. So say I can see why it's so dangerous being here in the evening. Cause when you walk around in the evening, you don't feel as comfortable as you do in the day. So if I came here and I didn't know you, and let's say I came with my girlfriend just to walk down here, would I be good? I'm gonna keep it all the way real with you, bro. I'm gonna keep it all the way real, bro. On this particular street, Hell no. you probably be safe to walk down here or walk down here. We don't just 
we you got to do something for us to be be tripping off you. We ain't just tripping off civilians, gang. We don't do that around her. Uh, uh, could you walk anywhere in St. Louis if you wanted to? Yeah, yeah. I can walk anywhere. Oh. 10 out of 10, something going to happen. Yeah. Nine, nine times out of 10, something going to happen. Call it. You can't do that. You can't do that on no block. You're in St. Nah. Louis. They're going to hassle you. Ask you what's up with you, where you from, how much you got. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's the truth. <laughs> Absolutely not. All it. Cause I said Especially because you got tat arm tattoos, neck tattoos, they're going to really be on you. Well, to where I'm from, bro. Like uh -huh. in the UK, we could walk wherever we wanted freely and there would be no repercussion. If you was a Caucasian man, I'm, I'm going to keep it a bug. If you was a Caucasian man, they wouldn't, you know, nah, ain't nobody bother. I need to get down there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get down there. Look, so what people got to understand, bro? man, street <laughs> is here. <with laughs> home, bro. We ain't. <laughs> We not aliens, man. Bro. We regular people. Bullshit. We don't be on no bullshit. No bullshit. bullshit. That's what I tell. That's it's what I tell. just what the media portray. You know yeah. what I'm saying? On some movies that's and TV and shit. That's why I tell you, mind you, the shit that you... The, shit that you the worst thing that they could have ever did was put the stats out of who has the murder capital of the world, uh, 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 of the of the United States. That's the worst thing they could have did. Because, like, at one point in Chicago, I, I know for a fact, because I was there, mom, <laughs> they was going for the title. They was going for it. And when I like, you think I'm bullshit? They were going for it. Oh, uh, we came in second last year, man. We gotta up this. We got. They were going for it. You not don't do that. That be the media. That be the news that be doing that. Why would y'all do that? That's stupid. You gonna release that type of stuff to the public, man? Them young, them young, them Y N G's is out here looking for that. They out here thinking that's the title. That's the title belt. That's the NBA championship for them. You ain't supposed to do that. That's just, I always thought that was stupid. Seeing tonight, that's this shit not to hurt people, man. It's just to protect. Hey, if something was to happen right now, y'all get the we, out the way. We gonna handle we that business for y'all to leave safe. I'm trying to find out what it's really like living in this hungry environment. See, see, I stay here. I'm adapting to it, so it's like easy for me type shit. Like, but then be strong. You got, you got to be strong slab here. If you don't, hey, that's real shit. It don't got to be streets to eat your life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I know a lot of y'all ain't even peep. Got a new hat. Man, you know. What, like, what was it like growing up in this environment? Man, oh, it, was, it was fun, like, fun. I said that about Chicago, too. It was fun growing up. I don't care what nobody say. When you, when you broke and, and, and things of that nature, you don't know you are. When you, you don't know you growing up where you growing up. You don't know. It's just a bunch of kids in the same situation as you, and you running around having fun until it get escalated. That's stressful, all that shit. Dangerous. Mostly fun, though. What? All, all, all the above for real shit. <laughs> when we was young, it was shit. Yeah. yeah. I jumped off the porch at 11 years old. I, don't even know. I got my first gun at 11. I've been smoking since like 7, though. I got my first gun at 11. Yeah, I had my first joint at 11, but I've been smoking since 7, though. My first gun was a 38 revolver. My first gun was a 22. My cousin, baby. I think it was called Wank or Yank. I forgot something, YG. 22, like a long ass Magnum, it was a Ruger. My cousin, baby. A long ass silver, 22. Long little court. 20 years for like 40. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of people are in, a lot of people in St. Louis don't get to make it to see 20. Mm -hmm. Why is the murder rate so high, though? Y'all nobody want to see nobody else win, I say. What, what was school like growing up in it? Some Midwest there. It was yeah. fun. It was school fun. was fun as hell. It was fun. I go back, I would. Like everybody you beefing with, like, like the way it is here now, Everybody you beefing with now, you just go to school and y'all was cool. Like literally yeah, close. Everybody was close, close, close. close. Everybody, it's just everybody separated, went to different places. When I jumped out the porch, I was 14. 14? Yeah, 14. Did you ever think, I wish I never jumped off the porch? Yeah, I'm right. It was a lot of situations and shit that made me think like, damn, I wish I would've stayed out of this shit, but shit, it's too late for all that. I wish I would've stayed out of this shit. You in this shit now. Nah, ain't no turning back around. I got put out of school. Well, I didn't get put out of school. I just didn't go back. <laughs> shit, I got shot at night three. Shit, I ain't go back to school. Oh, you alive? Oh, I got shot on the bus stop, the school bus stop. So shit, I ain't go back to school after that. Yeah, I think I think it didn't really affect them because I always been around. But 
it just affected them when they first, the first time I got shot, that's when they got the kid on. But it was already too late after this, baby. You wait too long to say so. My first big cousin got shot. How many times have you got shot? Shit, four different times. Four times? Yeah, four different occasions. And how old are you? I'm blessed to have missed that. I'm 21. You're 21 years old. Years old and you've been shot on four different occasions. Yep, the first time I got shot, I was 15. 15? Yep. Bro, your life seems crazy, bro. Yeah, it, shit. You'll get used to it out the while, big bro. Because it seems like everyone here is desensitized to murder. Yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah, I was like 15 years old. I was like 15 years old. See, I was supposed to be in school. The security going in, they let me in. Told me leave, so I walked, so I left. Missed me leaving. That's what happened. I said, this shit I rapped about, this shit it might go free. Free little bro, you missed the top. Let's switch and put your ass to bed. And look how he got hit with 16 shots. They found this little ass dead. And Lil Mori hopped. They hit him like some bread. I got a kid right by the task for making bad choices. Hit the corner, let me out on feet. I might all my forces. Let you know about popping. Then go duck off at Porsches. He don't post on them Porsches. Don't post no voter. The old A want to diss. I just talked to a cow killer. Switch up on the 19X. That bitch a loud spitter. Drop that bitch out for a drink. It's a one hit and quitter. Almost got clubbed with some bust. He left some glitter. Blinky wanted diss my partner. Find your daddy killer. Blinky wanted diss my partner. Find your daddy Blinky boy. <laughs> You know, I remember St. Louis used to, I like it when you do that right third. Now nah, they blicky boy. I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of tough though. <laughs> On a drill type energy, that was tough. If you saw a loved one get shot and murdered, or hopelessly speaking, if you saw that, and the police said to you, if you tell me who did it and you saw it, they would go to prison forever. What would, what would the response be to that? Give me my lawyer. <laughs> Give me your lawyer, yeah. Give me my lawyer. I got are you locking me up? Are you charged with anything? What are you questioning me for? And bro, if you, if you could see or speak to the person who did this, what would you say to him? I'm saying, I don't know. They probably couldn't speak back. I don't know. I'm saying, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Uh, he said, if I could see him, they probably couldn't speak back. They underground somewhere. That's tough. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't know. They probably couldn't speak back. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They probably couldn't speak back, so I can't talk to somebody. I can't, they can't speak back. You know what I'm saying? So, you saw a loved one get shot, and you knew it was. Would you tell the police? Nah, no, no, we pushing. Kill him. Police gonna do for us, but try to lock us up. Yeah, you know see, it seems like this, man. Either you're gonna be a bitch ass and let them walk this earth, you never ever send them to jail, though. Because they're going to jail. So, either you let them walk this earth, or you out. be a real you handle your business. You know then that's what you Stay are. Up. You labeled a snitch. You told on a nigga. Sure. On the I, I, then everybody out your way. Oh, uh, no tell. Even your homies is not going to respect that. You say a word, your homies going to look at you like, is you dumb, bro? Free bro. Free dude that did that. That's, that's the crazy way of life. <laughs> because now you going to die. For sure. Because you run around her telling. We got to get you out the way now because you tell. So if. You saw a loved one get shot and killed, and you witnessed that murder take place. And the police said to you, "If you tell me who it was, I'll make sure that I go to prison forever." Would you tell? It ain't me? no telling. No, he gonna no. be right with bro. I ain't gonna want no. He no. gonna be right with my family no, member, no. my love. Tell him I don't know nothing. I ain't, I ain't at all. And shit. I'm gonna go spend the same night. The same night. I'm gonna walk away from. Who I was that day. Same night. I'm gonna go him. push on something. But then they gonna be asking his family. Hell nah, we believe in street justice. I ain't telling yeah. the police nothing. Can't tell the people nothing. That's mind blowing, bro. Yeah, like I'm. A, it, it come with the lifestyle. Like you, a, a civilian, good Samaritan. I'm a criminal slash gang member, so I'm not gonna put on. I'm not gonna be on nobody camera saying, "Yeah, I know who did it. He did it." Like no. Yeah, I know. He at least like he know the difference. A lot of people don't know the difference. They be they be calling uh, active community members who are law-abiding citizens snitches. How is a law-abiding citizen a snitch? He is a law-abiding citizen. Can't be a thing. The only rules, the only people that these rules apply to is gangbangers and criminals. So, if you're not none of that, then you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do none of this stuff. Let's say someone did tell someone and they're in your group, your circle, is it a case that they'll be disowned? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get it. You can't out of even there. come around. You can't come around. So 
But what if it was that circumstance or like his mom got shot, even still? Oh, he, none of that. He's like, you none told. You told. <laughs> you don't choose. You broke. You broke the code. How easy could all get a gun? Easy. You walk around and ask somebody to sit. Yeah, no, easy no, no, no. Easy. 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 easy to get guns. Okay, it's, it's, easy. Easy. it's easy to get guns, man. It's okay, I see. All over. So at the moment, I'm waiting for the CTS Lewick to turn up. He recently beat a murder. Um, he was shot at. I'm not gonna lie. I know you got some boys with you, but th this is peak. You moving wild right here, middle of the street. I know the police right there, but these flashing lights mean nothing to a, <laughs> if somebody's spin. Cause they definitely in a striker, and they and it's probably a Hellcat, and they're getting away. That and shot back at the guy, and unfortunately murdered him. But so at the moment, I'm waiting for the CTS Lewick to turn up. He recently beat a murder. Um, he was shot at and shot back at the guy and unfortunately murdered him. That's uh, called a free kill in the Midwest. I know that's called a free kill in Iraq. But, you know, continue. Um, and he come home, I believe it was due to self-defense. Yeah. So I'm about to hear firsthand of his experience, what, what that event was really like. The reason I want to speak to you as well is because obviously what happened recently was everywhere. Um, the incident that took place. Yeah. Uh, if you could just talk me through about if you're comfortable like, talking about it or what, what you can touch on. I mean, shit, I ain't gonna get too much into detail, but <laughs> if you try to kill me, I'm gonna kill your dumb ass. I'm gonna leave your ass slumped down in the seat somewhere. Oh, <laughs> baby. You stupid ass. Oh, I ain't lose no sleep over that shit. I mean, I ain't want shit to happen like that, but at the same time, shit, he got what came to his ass. Shit, his ass a, a black and mild now. How do you feel today about the incident? Do you have any, I guess, remorse or any... What do you mean, like right after it happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. Because I guess a million thoughts would be going through your head straight away, I would think. I'm not sure, though. I mean, yeah, shit. He didn't want to do it. He didn't <laughs> want to do it, but he had to do it. I was some shit like, look, right? It was do or die. God damn I was some shit like, when it first happened. Honestly, if somebody blow at you and you sit there and you got one on you and you don't strike back, it's like, especially in these Midwest, I ain't know St. Louis was overcarried, but so be it. Especially in the, I only can speak about Chicago. Like, if somebody shoot at me, I'm shooting back. And I'm going to get the lawyer, and I'm going to tell the lawyer what happened, and they can relay it to the judge, police, whoever they need to be. And that's why people be sitting for a little while, because they got to get their lawyer, because they abide to that type of code. I'm not going to tell the police what happened. I'm going to tell my lawyer what happened, and they can do what they do. What happened? After it happened, I'm like, damn. Roll them up. Or some shit like that. But shit, damn, why? Damn, now I got to... Now I gotta take care of this shit. Now I gotta worry about my freedom and shit, you know? Cause I already knew they was gonna try to try to make me look like something I ain't, you know? Just cause I be in the streets shooting videos and shit. I'm a rapper and shit, so you know they gonna try to portray their image just cause a motherfucker in the trenches and shit, you know? I just hit a block, nigga took off like a f Bella, Bella bitch, she eat him, bro, up, switch it up, she giving me face. This, this ain't no little six. six. You know, let's be sliding big boy VA. Lil Wick out the window, screaming CTS, CTS, you know, know that's valet. valet. Nigga mad at me, about his bitch, he crapped out on his poor lady. We don't duck the static. No, we out here on the Tuesday. Goof lacking. Popped out on him, trying to knock off his face. Screaming free the parkers. When they touch down, bitch, we skipping stakes. Hey, YouTube, please. This is a documentary of the Midwest. St. Louis is an open carry state. And you can have firearms. You wake up, day. You blink on my day. People die every day. Yeah, like that. In St. Louis, people die every. Somebody gonna die every day. Let me see. Like every day. It's wicked. Do you think a murderer can be a good person? A murderer. A murderer. Damn yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The army murder, yeah, the like, army kill the people, they got a reason for killing motherfuckers. The army. I know somebody is this, that, and the third, and he is a good dude. He is a good dude, but but he is this, that, and the third. Trust me. But he a good dude, 100%. If you need something, you can call that, man. It's kill always people. a reason. Shit, a murderer can be a good person. Always two sides of the story. If they got a good reason for doing what they doing on some shit. No, because the prosecutor sucks you. I mean, you're a bad person. Yeah. Real. Not really, bro. Okay. So just because a person's murdered someone doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It means they made a very bad choice. And maybe someone going to jail for the rest of life is the best thing for them. You gotta hey, think. Community. You gotta see what turned that, that man to a murderer. What turned them to a murderer? A good, a good job. He could have been a Stay good home, motherfucker, man. man. Now turn this. Mm. I'll be telling y'all in the documentaries, it's always that one moment. 
and somebody like that could turn them into a savage. I feel like this the same thing where he going down. Motherfucker just you, with him. Uh, a good, a good job. He could have been a good motherfucker, man. Motherfucker just you, with him. Shit you made him touch the wrong man. man. So, to the so it be like this. Shit. You can't just say that shit. Murders. I know some man. I ain't gonna talk about that. But niggas is murders. I heard they they have good hearts. Most murders I know have good hearts. Gang. Hey, raise your hand if you've been shot. I shit hurt. That's insane, bro. Yeah, I done been shot. I done been shot. I done been shot. All five times. Right. Four, 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 different occasions. Right yeah. There's a bullet still in there. Is the bullet still in? Four, one. It don't two, stop nothing, dog. Three. It ain't cool. We're fine. Yeah. It don't stop nothing. That's surely that's not an enjoyable life, bro. No, it's not. It sure is not. That's why. Like, How is it ever gonna end, then, bro? Like, I don't think this shit gonna end. It ain't gonna end unless we get our little. So if <laughs> someone was in the same one to leave. I was like free to leave and just leave the normal life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, no, no, look, this ain't that old school back in the no, day no, bullshit, no, man. No, no, no. If if one of the homeboys decided to, you know what I'm saying, you don't do it, turn no, over no. a new stone in, uh, in this, and we it's perfectly fine with it, you know what I'm saying? Like this ain't. Cause no, listen, no, we ain't listen, doing don't this. think, don't think for one minute like we okay with doing the shit that we do. You see what I'm saying? If we could reverse time and do it, you see what I'm saying? Motherfucker probably have do a whole different path. You see what I'm saying? But right now, today. This is what we own. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Do you, this is, do you wish you went to different parts? I do. Uh, every day. Every day. Every day. Bro. I do, but I ain't gonna lie. I but I love what I do love, right now, though. I love my <laughs> mother <laughs> bros. This grape and crack shit. Oh, bro. Grape and real crack. Being in the streets. I, uh, uh, I don't regret nothing. Like, it ain't nothing in the world I regret. But I live and I learn from it. So I don't regret nothing I did besides jumping off the porch, because this is what I signed up for. So I don't regret none of the others, like the jail and all the other shit, I don't regret none of it. Do right. you both have to constantly look over your shoulder? Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely got to look over our shoulder everywhere we go. If that upset you guys... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, once I hit a... Once I, once I had a daughter, and I had to walk outside with a, with, with, a, with a Glock 30 in it, in the stroller, I was like, I gotta go. Can't keep this up. <laughs> I gotta go. I got to leave. I gotta go ahead, and get out of here, man, because it's too spooky out here. <laughs> I gotta go. It don't matter where I'm at in Chicago, I'm gonna always be this. So I got to go. And it ain't even because of it's. It's just a a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just a like. It's like almost like a black cloud where in Chicago, man. You gonna always have to watch your back if you look a certain way. If you if you doing certain things, if if people know you for this, that, the third, you gonna always have to be that. Cause people don't forget. <laughs> so it's like, let's call the truce. What would the response be? It depends nice. who it is. It depends who it is. It Some of us, we ain't coming is. back from shit. Y'all done went too far. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. No, it's like right off the real. Mer, I'm on you. Or yeah. he on me. No, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna shit be on me or I'm on you. It depends who see me first and who looks first, you know? I'm in St. Louis and it is hot. Um, getting bitten by mosquitoes, looking forward to go home. And everyone who's living here doesn't really want to be living here, which is heartbreaking. But it looks cool. Uh, I don't know, man. I love the Midwest. I love it. Anywhere in the Midwest, I love it. <laughs> First and foremost, I love how the hood politics work. It's, 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 it's real cut and dry. There's no confusion on what's going on in the Midwest. It, like a, a lot of other places, you'd be like, huh? Wait, what? But in the Midwest, it's, it's cut and dry. You know what I'm saying? You're not from there. Don't go there. You know what I'm saying? It's be cool. <laughs> like, it's mid, like, you can wear what you want to wear, but like, you know what I'm saying? Other places, it's, it would get real confusing. And then there's good food in the Midwest. Let's not forget that. Um, but I guess it's a small city. When you go five miles in the wrong direction, you'll end up in the wrong place. But what's crazy is I've spoken to civilians in these areas and they don't care about murders. So these murders are definitely concentrating to small parts of the city. And the city's small as it is. So you can imagine how violent those cities really are. It always, it, it never gets to the main parts of the city. Like where the money is, because once the M start happening where the money is, that, that takes away from like, you're going, to, you're going to jail. You're going to jail. So, 
Ain't none of that going down on the downtown and where that money is made at for them, for them, for the, you know. I love the most vulnerable position you've been in since you've been in the streets. Being shot in front of my mom. Damn! I, work, I say my words to her, my brother died. My mom. I work, I say. Vulnerable position you've been in since you've been in the streets. Being shot in front of my mom. I work, I say my words to her, my brother died. Standing over, yeah. standing over my little cousin. Why he did? He yeah, like that. Losing our people, that's how it works for them. That's why I like it. It's, it's, it gets deeper and deeper. Real for like it's deeper than, you know, it's deeper than what people really think. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't even, I don't, yeah. even, I don't feed into a lot. Seven. How many friends have you lost to the streets? It ain't gonna lie. She probably three, two. I, I, most of, most of my people I lost was shit. They didn't have natural cause. Shit don't be happening to us. When you get shot or you lose a friend, let's say, to the streets, what feeling do you get? Is it a case of get back or a case of maybe I should leave the streets and it's not worth it? Nah, bro. If you lose a friend, you ain't thinking about getting out of this shit, bro. And bro, if your op said to you, let's call a truce. They said it all the time. Yeah. And what, what's the response? No. Bro. I'm gonna keep it up. What the, what, what, Vernon, I'm 17 and they say, we are murdering that ass. No, I'm just <laughs> No, bro, we ain't calling no truces. We ain't peace treating, bro. That shit up forever, bro. Then we just gonna keep it all the way real, bro. How come it's not possible? Blood shit, blood shit. shit. That's all that matter. Blood, blood shit. Bloody seven. Yeah, man. Once blood is spilled, it's stuck. It's very much so stuck. But if it's on some. If it's on some, let's call it truce to let's get some money and ain't no blood ever been shed, that's like, okay. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? But like, if it's bloodshed, ain't no way. Seven. Yeah, it's all that matter. Blood shit. Bloody seven. Seven. Yeah, it's stuck in her gates. Well, I could have been avoided. They had to do her like that. Seven year old, man. Yeah. Was that intentional? That, that yeah, it was intentional. Yeah. Oh, you mind understand Yeah, in this life, there's still rules. And, and no, they ain't got no rules. I ain't gonna lie, like, we grew up rules. on it. This yeah, is such a thing as growing rules. up on it. Like, most definitely, we grew up on a no kid, no girl, no no females, no, no that. Rules, no. But now, no old people. No it, it's like, don't nobody care no more. There's no rules. They shooting at mamas, babies. They don't care who you in the crowd with. The worst, craziest thing I ever seen, I swear, I seen somebody Dude, straight get shot in their sleep, bro. In their sleep? In his sleep, bro. Yes, bro. Dude came in, light skin dude, got color out and shit. Came in, he was like, oh shit, my bad, bro, wrong room. But bro about to snap on this shit. I'm glad he ain't snap on his ass. But hell yeah, I seen dude straight switch cheese to dude, bro, in his sleep, though. Swear to God. He killed him in his sleep. Swear to God, bro. Bro talking in third person. <laughs> the whole dorm straight smell like gun smoke gang. Dude straight like tensed up, bro. Like imagine you sleep, gang, and you get like straight shot. Like he just we trying to unfold. You know what I'm saying? We trying to unfold, bro, but he just so stiff, bro. Well look, I'm gonna tell you like this. We on we on real shit. This ain't no this yeah. like when I be doing reactions to football games and I be telling y'all about the jerseys. I'm telling y'all, the Midwest jerseys, hey, we gonna rock a jersey, especially a football jersey, because it, it's kind of like a regular shirt. Them, they be tough. <laughs> ain't no money shit, no nothing. It's just real <laughs> clicking up, just <laughs> with each other. Chill. It ain't about no cloud, no, oh, no, shit. no, no, no security, no, no, oh, no, none of that. It's just no, no, real no, clicking no, up. No. Everyone in the trenches, they portray as these evil characters, man. But I feel like when you come yeah. here, it's nothing but love. Yeah, like, like, for the most part. It depends where you at. Yeah, it depends where you at, who you and know. who you put yourself like around. Who you surround yourself Everybody around. Everybody ain't just on some genuine shit, though. You know, this St. Louis. Everybody ain't on no genuine shit. You pull up on the wrong motherfucker, right? Tell them you did an interview with us. They might try to get on you. Serious? Just because, yeah, on some shit like that, you know? But nine times out of ten, if a motherfucker grown, they ain't no lit ass boy. They ain't gonna worry about shit like that, you know? Apologies. Obviously, you must be thinking I'm stupid or something. Must don't think I do it or something. Be faking around with their oppositions. I'm pursuing and dumping. I've never been a runner. Always been a who's dumping. Either that or I'm getting to the money. Geek study calling my phone. They've been waiting too long, but I tell them motherfuckers.
I'm coming, still in the trenches, still try to label me a menace, cause they sent me to the penitentiary, if you bank out them sales, for my little brother is shells, black out 300 ring bells, and they got four too, all the I'm close to, what the I'm supposed to do. And what would you say yeah, to the next generation who are now jumping off the porch, like the next 13, 14 year olds who are watching this? Right here. All right, so look, this the protege right here. This baby Kia. Baby KD, you hear me? But would you want him off the porch? Or... You see where he at? You I'm see who he with? with you though. It ain't even wanting him for real. His circumstance, his life, goddamn me, push him to do, you know what I'm saying? What he do, it ain't like he trying to do nothing. It's nothing that he want to do. This shit that it, real. This like, a product of his environment. You really don't have options. He it's limited out, in this shit. He come out shit. here, we, we try to make him go to school all day. Like, how old is he? Tell it? him. He, he, tell him how old you is, bro. bro. Okay. 13. How long you been out here? A certain time through the day, we shouldn't even see him over here. If it's, if it's school, um, but would it, school as his friends, I guess, wouldn't you rather have him on the porch and in school? Yeah, we be we be trying don't to, but it's wrong. like don't think we don't. We tell we got our own life, so it's like we can't be hands yeah, yeah, on, yeah, kidnap yeah. him, so take him to the school. School start back, we go buy, we buy him uniform, whatever we need. Him. Shoes, shit like that. But don't get it wrong. It's certain times we will send his ass home in the Uber. It, it ain't he like get out of here. Shit all night, but he ain't got op a lot of options till we try to figure out some shit. Yeah, he ain't got a lot of resources, so, so we his resources for right now. If you have a son and they want to jump off the porch, how would you feel? We're being a ass out the gate. See, see, it's different. Like, I got a the daughter. Generation now, like so, the generation now, nah, it's way it. different. Like these little dudes, they like way different than us. Like we grew up fighting, running, running around, being, you know, being. These little dudes on got each switches like, nowadays. At ten years old, guns. Eleven, ten years old, so it's different. One hundred percent. That's why I'm be messing with them young boys. It, 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 it hit different with them nowadays. Even with them, they age. They doing a lot of different stuff. I'm a grown man. I got businesses to run. Different. Eight nine. You know what I'm saying? With an ARP. It ain't like we chose to don't like we chose. Eight to nine with an ARP. Yeah, oh, bro. Thank like, God. Would you say you enjoy living this kind of life? Nah, bro. bro look up. Uh, no. It get nah, boring. I'm trying to get, get out this shit. You get boring, like, cause you did so long. So I mean, long. when when you say I enjoy living this kind of life, it's probably certain things that I enjoy doing. Like I enjoy, I enjoy being in the hood and no shit. More. But I don't enjoy, I don't enjoy having to watch my head and shit, getting the book out. So uh, yeah. when motherfuckers started bringing guns out, that's when we started bringing guns yeah. out. What would you guys say? Yeah, because I feel like you'd have an impact on the next generation. Yeah, because yeah, like I remember Chicago always had guns, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like crazy, crazy. I, I remember, <laughs> I remember when it happened almost, you know what I'm saying? At least for my generation. I remember going to house parties and people having a good time, people throwing hands if they needed to. And then just one day out west, getting a fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man! From that point on, it wasn't no more of that. It was no more of that. Have you been inspiration to the next generation, some to some degree, somewhat. And what would you say if they're watching this and they're considering jumping off the porch? Don't do it. Don't jump off. The porch. And don't jump off the porch. Stay this in street school. shit ain't what yeah, you want. It, I promise. Stay in school. Dealt with this. I ain't gonna lie. That ain't fun. Stay this street really shit ain't out. what you want. This shit look yeah, good. Yeah. This shit might look cool. Yeah. This shit look cool than a motherfucker mm -hmm. on it. You like these guns, don't you? A lot of gangsters don't realize they the influencers. They are the real influencers. Even a rapper look at a gangster and be like, I gotta do that. I gotta be that. And then they get on because that's what look cool. <laughs> you can look at a lot of. What would you say to the next generation who are watching this and they're about to jump off the porch? Yeah. Do not jump off the porch. Do Stay not jump off, off, off the porch. porch. Stay your ass in Stay school. In school. <laughs> Surely this life can't be enjoyable. <laughs> Having your head in a swivel at all times. Yeah, for sure. Got to. You got to keep your head it's up. One mistake can ruin your life. Yeah. You got to keep one, your head one, up. One, one time, one, one blink of an eye, like. I swear to God, <laughs> this shit is pointless, gang. Most of this shit is pointless, but it's pointless. Shit is pointless, but shit is what it is. What would it take for you to leave? You gotta get rich. It ain't hey, even that. I, I told you, out. We got. Yeah, you not gonna, gonna be. You gotta either get rich. You not gonna be done doing nothing yeah. until you absolutely tired of it. Yeah, man. Yeah. End of the day. One hundred percent. One, and that's with anything. You're not going to be done being fat until you absolutely tired of being fat. You ain't going to be done being broke until you absolutely tired of being broke. You ain't going to be done being a gangster until you absolutely done being a gangster. Like, that's a, that boy, man, this, what? he got it. Say it again, brother.
Yeah, to get rich, you're not gonna uh, be done doing nothing yeah. until you absolutely tired of yeah, it, man. Yeah. Even when you rich, you see how many rapper, you see how many rich rappers, like gangsters turn rappers, get tricked out of their spot by the streets again, by their ops, because they wasn't done being gangsters. They just got rich. They just got rich. Like look at Pooh Shiesty, free him. Matter of fact, but he wasn't done being a thug. He wasn't done being gangster. Brother was in a McLaren with, a, with a, having a shootout. Man, come on, man. Another day. You know when, 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 when we tired and we we done with playing well, in the streets, guess what? We gonna oh, turn we up a new star. You know what I'm saying? So I've been here for the best part of two days um, and I'm starting to realize that these people in these environments, in my opinion, are solid, warm-hearted people. I think it's very much their environments is the reason they're living the way they're living. And I think... So I can never understand. Like, okay, okay. You, can't, you can't break it down the Midwest how it is to somebody that's not from like America. Like I can, I can explain all I want until I'm blue in the face. That's why a lot of people got a lot of certain things to say about me. Like, it's a lot of goofies that say a lot of goofy things, but like, it's a different, it's a different, it's, it's different thing. Nobody's overly trying to play their role. They, it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> Very much their environments is the reason they're living the way they're living. And I think this, is not, this hasn't just happened. I feel like it's designed to keep these people in these environments. I think it's almost a trap, like an environment trap. Um, and it's heartbreaking because I feel like people who watch these videos, they'll see like people turning up and have some sort of opinion. But I feel like if you're in this environment, it's very much hard to survive is, is what I'm hearing. Um, but everywhere you go and you speak to these people opposed to watching these videos, you'll realize they're probably some of the nicest, realest people you'll ever meet. So when you watch these videos and you, and you see them, I guess, doing antics, just take it with a pinch of salt because I guess it's borderline entertainment at the same time. See, the only reason why I, would, I want to do this in Florida, but it's like, uh, like I know a few people, but it's, it's a little bit tougher. It's a little bit tougher looking like me trying to do these type of videos. But their lives are very real and, it, and it's heartbreaking. Like everyone I speak to has lost someone, someone's been shot. And like I said, I think this has been planned. This, this is not just something that, that they're deciding to do. Um, but yeah, just keep watching it and hear the rest of these heartbreaking stories. I feel like these, bro, these neighborhoods haven't, this isn't accidental. I feel like the white man has designed this black and black crime, bro. And they're promoting demonic music. There's no opportunities. They're trying to keep black. Keep in mind, YouTube. This is America. This is St. Louis. Whatever's being rolled up and puff puffed and passed. It's just tobacco people in these environments Legal tobacco. and i feel like what's happening is bro this is a racist man's wet dream bro seeing yeah. black man kill black man yeah but it's heartbreaking because i feel like people are aware yeah. but it's too far gone bro yeah because i swear to god i'm aware of i like how the, the taboo room man doing this he's adding value he's just not promoting all negativity he's adding real value he's trying to you know what i'm saying a lot of people don't do that yeah, shit, shit, we should be they tripping off the, gotta, you know, but the other, the other race, everyone, but shit. Everyone should be together, yeah, bro. Yeah, but, but shit, it's too late for all that being together, shit, shit. Uh, as a community, as a whole, though, shit, if I see, like, a black man out here that need help and shit, we'll help him out, shit. We ain't fucked up like that, but shit. Yo ass enemy, shit, you ain't getting no help around. We gonna help you, all right? Shit, we be getting on white people ass, too, though. White people ain't exempt. We just got our own shit going on in our community, street to street, but, like, we get our get back on white people, we take their cars, all type of shit, like. We inconvenience they white ass. Yeah, yeah, but ain't no killing them. One hundred percent. That's <laughs> that, yeah. that ain't happen. You see, he said we inconvenience them, not with death though, but we will inconvenience them. You gotta listen. I told y'all earlier, they not doing that. As too, they ain't exist. That's what reckon the camera happened to make this city safer and better. I think one of the best things we've done is legalize marijuana. We'd rather have them smoking pot than drinking. Because Legal, told you. Because when they drink, they fight, want to get rowdy. When they smoke pot, they sit there and chill the f 
out. Uh, I think legalization of pot is a very good thing. Uh, to st UK should try it. UK. Listen up. Start. Give people opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, especially St. Louis. Yeah, look down there. You, you know what I'm saying? Go to the, go look at the just look up the just over overpopulate. They got motherfuckers in there sleeping. They bullpen shitting on themselves, pissing on themselves. And if you both had one wish, being in this life, what would that be? Damn. Bring all my back. You know it's heartbreaking, bro. I think I ask that wherever I go, and that is 99 percent of the time it's that answer, bro. You always want your people who you started with to come back with you. If you all had one wish, starting with you first, Monty, what would it be? Shit. One wish for me and all my brothers to make it out. Except get up out of here. This, so this is like a very much like a family, yeah. Yeah. This ain't a game. It's not a game. Like, like, like all of us, we close, but we ain't all right. Give me that, that one. Demon out here, Everybody yeah. is, except everybody, all of us, and his name from is besides them two and different hoods. Right from, here. It almost seems like a family. Yeah. 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 They, they gotta be real brothers. I think they actually, yeah, they all look related right here. One, two, three. Because to wipe your face with sweat and then do the exact same thing in the same spot is. Insane for me. I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? But they they blood brothers or something. Them two and different hoods. Bro, right here. It almost seems like a family. Yeah. She is a family. For sure. For sure. You ain't, ain't, ain't no game. Like, that's, what, that's, 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 what that's why we so different. In hard, that's why we so different in any, any other game. Because we not a game. We brothers. Like, real life. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can. And what are the do's and don'ts if you're coming to St. Louis? Shit, if you come to St. Louis, don't come with a gun. Don't, don't, don't leave that bitch gun. in your car. Cause yeah, I'm gonna take that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna pop you your window and take that bitch. <laughs> do not leave your gun in your car. <laughs> not your do car. not leave your keys in the ignition. Cause bro gonna scratch off in your shit. And how often? I would say the same thing about Chicago. Don't even. There's a couple things about how you're supposed to carry your weapon if you're in, in any of these states like this because them young boys will take it from you. You know what I'm saying? So all of that stuff you see in the movie of people putting it in their back, like, don't do that because it will get snatched. <laughs> 100%. 100%. I, I tell y'all all the time, I used to have a North Face jacket with a slit right here. My hand was always in it and I was walking like this. I don't think my hand ever left it. <laughs> I don't care. But, you know, it was just, you know, where I was. Often, does it, does violence occur or shootouts happen in general in St. Louis? Shooting the shit. He probably finna be shooting us around this motherfucker all day, every day, bro. Oh, that's, surely that's an anxious way to live, man. Like, does, that, what? does anyone here have PTSD? PTSD? Shit, damn right. Damn right. What the f you have for PTSD? Shit, that's the help. I, this, this is all the help I need right here, bro. Everybody. I got PTSD oh, from the police. Shit like that, PTSD from, from, from Not scrapping a lot, ass, but toxic deep. ass bitches. I don't, like <laughs> Fourth of July. I don't know what type of PTSD he talking about. <laughs> Oh, I, got, I got, got no PTSD. I got some car accident PTSD. I got PTSD from these hoes. I got some car accident PTSD. I got some car accident PTSD. I got some like again, I'm not the window, I'm gonna work the oil. Call me Mr. Get It Gonna, call me Mr. Get It Off. Not to get it off the phone, so I can get it off the block. I get busy with this glizzy like me. You kinda look like my older brother, that's that's crazy. My older brother a little taller though. Shot, faking, that's something you nice. So great, just And I guess, can you two, obviously being an artist and being in St. Louis, walk anywhere you want in the, in the, the city? You can't do that. I'm gonna be honest. I can do it, but I can't do it. Like, I ain't supposed to, but I do it anyway. I could do it too, but I just don't be on none of that no more. I don't be on none of that no more. We do go in public, yo. Yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, we do be going in public shit. We ain't ducking a damn thing. We going in public regardless. Shit, it's just gonna be that if we go in public shit. We ain't ducking shit. And when did you both jump off the portion? I bet you if you ask any of them, do you have a nine to five, the answer will be no. Gangsters can't have nine to fives. I'm telling you, if you got real ops and you really out here in the streets causing havoc, in the nine to five for you. Actually, so that was like nine. Nine. Yeah. Ain't gonna fake it. It was like 17. 17. Like Ain't no nine to five. You really can't ride no bus for public transportation. Can't do none of that. 
So how did that affect your families? Uh, I'm going to say my mom and my daddy, like... Gangsters too. They come from the trenches. They, like, they still do the same shit right now they was doing when they was 16, 17. So it ain't affect them. They just taught me shit. You're going to do something, make sure you stand on it. Whatever it is you do. You born in the shits. You, you feel me? Come on, look at this, bro. Look, look at this shit, bro. Motherfuckers ain't even cutting their lawns and shit. You got grass coming out the sidewalks and shit like that, bro. This motherfucker told you. My whole family is black pea stones. Now my mom's ex-husband was a, uh, the leader of the vice lords. It's not. A, sometimes it's really. <laughs> it really just be like that. <laughs> Duh. Motherfucker care about this motherfucker, bro. Real life GTA. Shit, my parents, shit, well, shit, my daddy was already dead. Not my mom no more. Let's clarify. My mom is a ordained minister. Lovely woman. Clarification. Yeah, shit, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. My that if it needed to get sticky, she could call who she, whoever. Mama always lived out of town, so she ain't had no say so on shit for real. Dang, my daddy did, so I had no choice. After my daddy died, all that good shit was out the window, so I had to. I used to undo it after, after this shit happened. I had um, just got out here, got the hustling and shit. And you, do either of you regret making that choice? No. Nah. nah. I'm gonna say yeah, but no. What's the worst memory you have that you can speak on? Man, I shot my motherfucking self. You shot yourself? Damn. <laughs> Bro pulled a B rabbit from 8 Mile. That's tough. Fuck <laughs> hurt. <laughs> Man, arguing with somebody. The good feel. I went to catch it when I caught it and shot. The fuck Shut myself my... up. He was right there like a motherfucker laughing. <laughs> Tell me about your music and when you both started. I started in. 2019 so five and years. got locked up in 2020 how about you bro when did you start music like 2020 when you went to jail and um, what do you think drill music is good for society yeah yeah because i feel like it's good for um society because shit it's people that then been through it and there's people that just want to know what's going on instead of them getting out her hands on where they can just hear how this shit go like they can like you can teach a lot of people a lot of shit without them having to do it Let's just say if you had a son, yeah, how would you feel if they want to jump off the porch? Yeah. He thugging. For real, for real, he thugging. He gonna be around it anyway. I'm gonna beat my son ass right back on the porch. <laughs> Ain't no way. If you could describe it in a couple of sentences, what, what would you say St. Louis is like? Loving, hating, and killing. Two, Two things that I hate is a rat and disgusting bitch most of these hoes that's bad just good for ass you can't relationship yeah. all right now oh, that was good that was good because i ain't never really seen that no uh st louis i think i seen um rose kemp but that was it it's like the second one and they next door they was next door to me well they was next door to the east side but it was no. I know they don't claim them dudes that be like Louisiana. All right, I'm done. Tell them leave a like, comment, I'm gone.